25. Solid rocket booster nozzle gimbal check. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a row. Roger roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. And the three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Got to go at throttle up. Three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. Standing by for the guidance system to take over control of uh, Atlantis and roll the vehicle to a heads-up position. This roll to heads-up uh, uh, allows for... Atlantis, you are pressed to MECO and single-engine Zaragoza 104. Copy. Pressed to MECO, single-engine Zaragoza 104. Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. Lucky dog. That reference to the guidance system's choice of the uh, roll maneuver. If you have a uh, nominal shutdown on all three, you will be go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Atlantis copies nominal shutdown, go for the plus X. Go for the pitch. Good read back. And that roll to heads up provides a good uh, satellite communications link with Atlantis, uh, continuing its uh, travel into space, approaching seven, uh, seven minutes into the flight. Standing by for main engine cutoff confirmation as Atlantis uh, is in excellent shape uh, heading into orbit. Main engine cutoff confirmed, standing by for separation uh, from the external fuel tank. Atlantis now uh, flying away from the external tank after separation. Plus X uh, burn maneuver being performed by Commander Ken Ham. Uh, nominal Miko ohms one not required. Preliminary ohms two TIG will be 37 colon 30. We'll meet you in the post ohms one procedure and uh, welcome back to space for you and your veteran crew. Copy. 
Happy. 37.30, it's good to be back, Scorch, as you know. And uh, Ohm's one is not required. Pilot Tony Antonelli now taking control of the stick for a few minutes. Steering Atlantis around this heading alignment circle. This is a right overhead turn of 320 degrees. This will set up the shuttle for its final approach and landing there on runway 33. Now just three minutes to go. The shuttle's traveling 547 miles per hour. Its altitude six miles. And Houston Atlantis, field and set. Yeah, good luck with that one. Now the commander, Ken Ham, now taking control of the shuttle. You're on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Two and a half more minutes to go in Atlantis's flight. There you see the Florida coast coming into view. The uh, shuttle continuing to turn to the right and line up with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Commander Ken Ham continuing to finish up this heading alignment circle turn. Atlantis, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. In just a few seconds, the uh, shuttle's crew will get their first view at the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis now traveling 400 miles per hour. Now the left side of the cockpit has the runway in sight. Copy that, Hawk. Field in sight. Once again, this is the heads-up display that Commander Ken Ham is taking a look at as he pilots Atlantis down toward this runway. Space Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. Its speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. We'll stop Atlantis. Sock, that uh, landing was something that your Air Force crewmate should have really been proud of. That looked pretty sweet. Uh, for you and your crew, 
that was a, a suiting in to an incredible mission. I'm sure the station crew members hated to see you leave, but we're glad to have you back. And uh, you guys executed flawlessly. And not only that, you had a great time doing it. And that was very evident from the ground. And everybody down here really enjoyed working with you. With that, we'll get you back to work. We'll meet you in the post landing, page 5 3. There are no Delphas. Okay, Scott, thanks. And uh, thanks to all you guys, too. We'll go over to 5 3. And uh, we'll finish up post landing and turn this incredible machine back over to the ground teams to put it back in the barn for a little bit.